What's up you guys? Welcome back to another farming simulator video. Now as you can see here we are on the roof. That's where we're going to be starting off today's video. Now you may be wondering why and it's because I've been doing a little bit of parkour this morning. You know I, I just woke up you know haven't been up real long and I decided to climb up here and start practicing you know for my parkour and all you know just to get better at all that so let's see here so here's the course i've mapped out so we're gonna go here we're gonna run from here jump on the truck go from the trailer jump to the old cummins there and somehow we're gonna jump from the cummins and then land on the roof and then we're gonna jump on there and then we're gonna land back right here we're gonna jump that we're gonna jump over max right there we're gonna land on that trailer jump to the can am jump to that trailer right there with the lawnmowers at and then jump to the purple one and then we are done i guess it's just really random but you know this is how i wanted to start this video you know how to be a little bit exciting so here we go you guys let's see if we can make this all right i've been practicing all morning i've only fell and scraped up my knees about eight times so yeah moment of truth has all the practice paid off this morning let's go big jump right here Okay, okay. We, we slipped a little bit, but we still made it. Alright, on around. Okay, we made that. There we go. Oh, we made that. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. Alright, now we should make this big jump right here. Oh, can we make it? Alright, alright. We made it. Alright, now onto the little trailer. Okay, we made it. Alright, now onto the can am. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, okay, we made it. We made it. Now the trailer. And made that. The trailer's fighting me, but we made it. And go. Okay, we made it. Yeah, let's go. A little parkour session to start the morning off. All right. Now, let's get on to what we have planned for today. First of them being that we need to go pick up my fiance's new vehicle. I am probably going to be buying her a Yukon. It's a GMC Yukon. Very, very nice vehicle. It's a 2020, you know. It's the same guy that we bought the GMC right here from. He actually has like a little car business, you know, and he sells vehicles here and there. And he has another one available. So we are going to go check that thing out, man. It is so nice. It's four-door. Uh, I really like it. She's going to love it, you know. We've been talking about it here and there. She said she really wanted it. So, you know, I think we're going to go get that for her. And also... We may be going to pick up our very first SEMA truck. You know, this right here, I'd say this was somewhat SEMA level. It's just, it don't have the lift and everything that I feel like it should have to be on that level of like, you know, SEMA trucks. So we are actually going to be getting our new SEMA build. It is right down the road at Elevated. Elevated has the truck right now somebody brought it in yesterday you know to have it looked at and they are the ones that have it for sale so my buddy called me that works down there at elevated and was like hey man you should come down here check out this truck he told me the price of it and everything you know he said it's a really really good truck he's went over it and kind of looked at it a lot and he says it looks like everything's fine on it and you know he knows i'm looking for a sema build and he said this is going to be the truck i should buy so with all that being said we do need to go ahead and pick up my fiance's vehicle now we are actually going to be taking a different truck so let's see here i think we may take the old first gen dodge right there you know the whistling diesel dodge take it with us to pick up her new vehicle let's see go ahead and hop in this thing right here oh yeah this thing never gets old man that old cummins all right get her backed up here now i don't know what's going on with my grill right there um yeah i may need to get that looked at but it's been flickering for a while and I've tried to repair the truck and everything. It just don't do anything. So I guess we just got a flicker and grill. Now let's go ahead and head out of here. Let's see. Okay, got the trailer. Everything looks good. Make a right right here. I'm so ready to get that truck out of my yard right there. It's just been sitting there for so long and it's hard to mow around it. She doesn't ever really drive. You know, she's just wanting a little something different. She's had that truck for like six, seven years, you know. And she, she just said it's time for something else. So let's see here. I'm trying to remember where these people live. I think it's down here on the left. Let's see. Go ahead and turn right here. Okay, excuse me. I always love to have a reason to come over here because it's just so nice. Oh, look at that track hawk right there. Oh, man. It said supercharged on the side. Let's see. Make our left right here. I'm pretty sure I already caught a glance of the vehicle. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, there is the Yukon, man. That thing is nice. Let's just kind of get pulled up right here on the side of the road let's see can we pull up right here just like that all right go ahead and cut off the truck for a minute and i'm gonna walk in here make sure nothing's coming okay nothing is coming so let's see man this thing looks as good as he said it did he said there's nothing wrong with the vehicle he just had the oil changed in it you know just did a full tune-up he put new tires on it and had it detailed 
Man, he said this thing is ready to go, and honestly, I'm ready to get it. I'm going to walk up here and let him know we are here, see if he wants to come out, you know, kind of talk to me. So he actually just went back in. The vehicle is now ours. We got the title and everything in the glove box. So this vehicle, like I said, is officially ours, or I guess you could say it's officially my fiance. Let's go ahead and crank this thing up. Oh, yeah, nice and quiet. Runs so smooth. Let's get pulled out of here. We need to get this thing on the trailer. Let's see. We're going to kind of pull around like this. Let's go right there. Kind of back up a little bit. Let's see, check our mirrors. Okay, everything looks good. Okay, that should work right there. I'm just going to leave it running for a minute. Man, this thing is so nice. It even has a hitch on the back. That's what we want, you know. Let's get the ramps down. Make sure we don't hit the truck. Okay, yeah, those are good. Now let's get her loaded up on the trailer right here. He's on up, just like this. Go ahead and shut her off there. All right, that looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, fit just fine. So we got the straps on right there. Okay, I don't think she's going to go anywhere. Let's see. Let's get our ramps back up. There we go. All right, go and fire the old first gen up. See if I can't just get backed out of here like this. Back around. I kind of make my turn into this little road right here. I don't see anybody coming, so we should be pretty good. Nice little turn. Okay, okay. All right, we are off with the fiance's new vehicle. Let's go ahead and make our stop right here. Make sure we got on our blinker. Okay, everything's looking good right there. Man, she is going to love this thing. She is absolutely going to love it. She's going to be so excited. She doesn't necessarily know I've already went and picked it up. She is still just at the house, you know, taking care of a few things. So she doesn't really know where I went, but she's going to know here shortly when I show up with it. So it's kind of slow down right here. We have made it back to the house. Gonna get pulled in the driveway. Can we make it? Oh yeah, we fit just fine. There we go. I'm gonna pull up right here so I have room to unload it. Now let's go ahead and get it unstrapped right there. Get that strap off. We got that strap off. Go ahead and get back down right here. There we go. Kind of pull it right over here just like this because I kind of do want to spray it off a little bit. It's a little dusty but not too bad. So now we actually have to go pick up the new SEMA truck. I'm probably gonna take the old f-350 i feel like it's time we get that out and kind of take it on a drive all right let's get the old whistling diesel first gen part right here all righty now let's go hop in the old f-350 all right let's see kind of get backed up right here to our trailer all right here we go we got everything hooked up we got the ramps folded up last drive in the old 3500 right here the old cummins man I, I really do like this truck really really fun truck to drive all right let's see if we can make our way out right here i actually just got off the phone with my buddy over at elevated and they are waiting on us i'm so ready to get this truck i'm so ready for the sema build that we have coming for it all righty here we go we have made it to elevated you guys i'm a little nervous i'm excited but i'm nervous so it can get pulled in right here Oh, I can't wait. Okay, where's it at? I don't really see it just yet. Okay, I may see it. Oh, yeah. I do remember now they said it's up on the lift. They were just kind of checking everything out, making sure everything was okay with it. Oh, wait. Did they get a new truck? A new shop truck? That's what it looks like. Wait a minute. I haven't seen that yet. They hadn't told me about that. Let's go and get these ramps down because I know I'm going to trade for that truck over there. Let's see. I'm get my cash together real quick out of this glove box, and I'll see you guys here in just a second. Go and get these straps off now. All right, you guys, here we are. They did get a new shop truck. Man, this thing looks so good. Look at this truck. This thing is insane. Man, this thing is nice. Speed shop. Hey, I like that. Here is the truck, you guys. This is what we are going to be using for our very first, I guess, official SEMA build. I'm going to go find my buddy and kind of talk to him and the owner of the truck and get everything sorted out. We can get this thing loaded on the trailer and get headed home. All right, you guys. Now, as you can see, we are in the truck that is because we are officially the new owners of this truck. I am so excited. I'm so ready for all of the build ideas that I have for it. You know, I'm just ready. So let's go ahead and leave this run up. That way it can warm up there. And we're going to go ahead and get this one off the trailer. I took these straps off a little while ago. That way we didn't have to worry about that now. So it's getting it hopped up here. Let's see. They just said to pull it up on the lift. They kind of just want to look at this truck too. So let's kind of do this right here. All right. Goodbye, old truck. I'm going to miss you. I guess I could do the honors of raising it up. Bye, truck. Goodbye. Let's go load up our new truck, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. This is nice and easy. Let's not mess anything up. Everything's going good. Nice and easy. Oh, yeah. There we go. Go ahead and get her strapped off. Hey, I did good for my first try, you know. Got everything lined up like it should be. All right. Go ahead and cut that off, you guys. 
We are about to head to the house with the new SEMA build. I'm so ready. Now, the first thing I want to do to the truck, I've been looking at some rims for it, you know, here and there. I think I may get some different rims and tires and kind of put those on. That'll probably, like I said, be the first thing that I do. Now, of course, once we do get the wheels, we may go ahead and get a lift put on. Not really sure. We'll just kind of have to see all that goes. Let's see. Let's see if we can get around these people right here. All right, here we go. We're officially back home with the new SEMA truck. I cannot believe this. Look at there. Look at this thing, man. This thing looks so, so good. I'm so happy. I am so, so happy. Look at there. I know exactly where I want to park this thing. Look at that, just like that. Now, like I did say before, I guess this is our official SEMA build, and I cannot wait to get started on it. First thing I'll probably do is get these rims and tires off right here, kind of change up. I'll probably color match some of this trim and little stuff like that. I'll probably, yeah, like I said, color match all of this. I'm sure I'll end up color matching those, all kind of stuff. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff this truck, so I hope you guys are ready for all that. We may take the toolbox off the back. But, you know, if you want to see all that, you're going to have to stick around because that is going to be coming up in the future farming simulator videos. Now, I guess with all of that being said, you guys, you know, we got my fiance a new GMC Yukon today. We got the new SEMA truck. Honestly, it was such a good day. I had a blast going to pick up all this new stuff. I am so, so excited for building this truck. I cannot wait. Now, like I said, be on the lookout for up coming videos on this SEMA build right here. I'm going to keep you guys posted, you know, and I'll be making videos of me building the truck and all that good stuff, you know, doing little stuff to the truck. We are going to have to go pick up the rims. We may have to go across state, to be honest, to pick up the rims I want to pick up. But with all that being said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. If you did enjoy this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. Make sure they are set to all. The way you don't miss any of the videos I upload. I'll see you guys in the next one.